missing out dramatically for a semi-final spot in the Nafasta Cup. This is where Gav Maceo would like to make their mark. Kingston College, they come into the season with a swagger of Manning Cup champions, the best urban area team in the country. But their 2017 win in this competition, not too far away from their minds either. Funny enough, on the opening uh, day last year, both these teams actually suffered defeats. Kingston College went down in a penalty shootout to St. Elizabeth Technical. Gav Maceo lost to St. George's College by two goals to nil. Then the straight would have it. Gav Maceo face to face with another opponent from North Stream. <laughs> well, one of these two will be sure to, to better their performance uh, than last season when they came out in the first round. I was knocked out in the first round. Uh, but it's a huge task, this one, for Gav Maceo tonight. Just a few minutes ago, we were speaking about the disparity of the teams of the Manning and the Costa Cup. And I just find it a little bit disturbing that uh, the Costa Cup semi-finals would have lost so badly to JC, but it could have just been an off day. Let's see what happened. But as we take a look at the greeting party, which involves principals as well as sponsors meeting, of course, the famed purples. Back to your famous purple and white. As we take a look at both captains, the government say a captain is already there, Jermaine Muirhead and Jamari Morrison, both attacking midfielders for their respective teams. Carl Terrell will be in charge of today's game, he will be assisted by Damian Williams and Kemor Reed. This is the starting lineup for Kingston College. David Martin is in goal. Calvin Gardner, Rajiv Gavin, and Andrade Wright, as well as Lewis Watson, who returns to the team for the first time since uh, September 28, recovering from an injury. In the middle of the box, Scott McLeod, Jamari Morrison, and Demario McCarthy up front. Siobhan Gale, the striker, and uh, on his flank, uh, Ronaldo Robinson and Dwayne Atkinson with 14 goals so far to his name. And so Ludlow Bernard will set up this evening. This is how Maron Gordon will line up his Garvin Maceo team. Akil Benjamin in goal. In front of him, Roshane Brooks, Tavon Richards, Kyle Shimu, and Shoane Thomas, the back four. In the middle of the park, three as well. Barrington Blake, Marvin Williams, and Jermaine Muirhead. And up top, Kimani Silvera, Claire Clark. And, of course, the 16-year-old, the ever-dangerous Gregory Cousins. There is Maron Gordon, okay. relaxed as per usual. Again, last year, he would have faced another North Street Giants, and he was hit pretty early after two minutes of free kick by Emilio So, and they just couldn't recover after that. And we see the importance of early goals, whether you're conceding them or whether you're scoring them. It sometimes tend to set the tone of the game and they don't want to hold fast against a Kingston College unit wanting to stamp their class. Carl Tyrell, the man in the middle. And we are ready. Gav Maceo will be Kicking towards the hills, towards the Blue Mountains, towards Uptown, Kingston. Kingston College will be kicking towards downtown Kingston, towards the Caribbean Sea. And they come calling through Dwayne Atkinson on his run. Cutting in on his right foot and didn't have the swerve on it. And it goes behind for a goal kick to Gav Maceo. So first attack launched. And just not accurate. Dr. Bernard looking on at the bit of action there. And Miron Gordon 
just checking on his alarm clock, just making sure that his team wasn't sleeping as they defended that first attack, that first wave from Kingston College. Very really concerned for Coach Gordon there and the task that he's up against. You put it into perspective here. He's not just up against a team that has not lost this season, but a perfect win record so far in terms of winning all the games they've played. And they come into this game with a staggering 11 goals scored in the last three games with just one against. And if it gets any more difficult for Gordon Masaya, we want to tell them that this Kingston College team has the best defensive record. Clear Clark, Clark does well. Clark drives that one inside to the deflection and the keeper comes out to collect. So, a couple of warning shots being fired. Not the most convincing finishes from either team. Kingston College trying to come forward and the challenge coming in throwing to Gav Masia who make no mistake they have their own firepower as well Jordan Cousins of course leading the line although he's just 16 years old he really changed that game as Mern Gordon said in his pre-game interview a game against Manchester High they had to come from behind twice and Cousins came off the bench with 20 minutes to go and assisted in the last two goals scoring one if they are in Gotham I see a very organized team as well and uh, they don't really give up in 11 games they've only conceded seven goals they've had four clean sheets in their 11 games so far and like I said before they only have given up more than one goal in a game once this season. Clark showing his skill again. Wins the free kick for his team. Do expect Calvin Massey to put up uh, a very good showing tonight as well because they hail from a parish which is arguably the best youth program in the country. I guess that's why their former president became the head of the JFF, yeah. Michael Ricketts. Well, new development plays a big role. Free kick sent long inside the box, looking for Muirhead! Off the post, the follow-up, cleared off the line! Calvin Gardner was in the right place at the right time. If he wasn't there, Kingston College would have been behind. We're talking about coach Bernard from Kingston College talking about a small challenge tonight. Well, there's a warning sign. Let's hope the intensity continues from both teams. Long ball over the top. Looking for Siobhan Gale. Who's made his way from Moore to be high, Siobhan Gale, to be a part of this Kingston College starting lineup. Scored what some four goals so far this season, Siobhan Gale. Ronaldo Robertson not happy with the support or the lack of it there. Clark trying to make a nuisance of himself again. Rasheen Brooks. Back there, seeking some help, got it from Tavon Richards. Ball dinked over the top, keeper is off his line. And uh, no problems here for Keel Benjamin as he puts that one into touch. There's an earlier chance here for Gav Maceo, the initial header from Muirhead off the post, and then the follow up. Couldn't quite get over it, could he? Rashane Brooks. 
did come and did very well. He did well with the initial header. He was under pressure all the time and still to get it on target hitting the poles. Lewis Watson with the throw. Gets it back. Trying to get inside the box. Oh, he's free! That's the bird. But he could not fly. Atkinson sent it wide. He dragged that one, Dwight. And that came from a, a, a mistake there from the 16-year-old. She knew. Miss kick in the 18-yard box. Kimani Silvera just ran out of real estate. We see the early signs in this one where Gavin must say not. They're pressing high up the pitch and not allowing Kingston College a time and space. That's true. Now the long ball over the top. The keeper comes off his line now, gathers it before Cousins could get anywhere near it. That's David Mutt. Atkinson. Again, keepers commanding their penalty area. Making the pitch smaller than yeah. they do so. It's what we see for both teams trying to play the ball over the top or between the, the into those half spaces for the runners. And these keepers will have to play like the sweeper keeper. So far, they're anticipating quite well. Not the best clearance that was. Cousins couldn't quite gather for Garvin Maceo. Bernardo Robinson. Atkinson looking for the give and go. And he was going, trying to get that one, it was too far in front of him. Lewis with the throw. McCarthy. Scott McLeod. Draw the right back to McLeod, back to right. Robinson. That was a strange occurrence. There's a rash challenge there from Thomas. But the ball was still in play, and Robinson, he, he missed a trick there. He really did miss a trick. The ball was in play, and he paid no attention to the ball. I think that's why we had a delay uh, whistle coming from the referee, because he was looking to play the advantage. Robinson, aggressively trying to retain the ball, lost possession. more than a small challenge at the moment. <laughs> Most definitely he must be rethinking his, his statement. Here's delivery inside. Chance over the top. Probably couldn't believe his luck that he was left free inside the box and could not keep the shot down. Leaning away all the time, and with that type of approach, it was always going to go over. Got Marcel with the best chance of the game so far. He's finding a lot of space in the Kingston College 18 yard box. Atkinson. I thought they gave up on that too early. Certainly, it stayed on the line. We know, as it has said in the rule book, all of the ball have to be off the field. Once a part of it touching the line, then it's still in play. 
Yeah, Filthy had the speed to get there, decided not to go after it. Lewis. Ball played through, almost. Atkinson couldn't quite gather as the interception was made. That's excellent interception from Richards there for Gabriel Messier. And draw the right. Set up on the platter, the shot is high and wide. That's from Jamari Morrison. And he's going to have to do a lot more motivation than he had initially planned. Coach Bernard. on it. Tava, Tava Richards is back there. Atkinson. Well, that's a good challenge. coming from Thomas really timed it well and got our ball just now showing Thomas on Demario McCarthy long to take it So the wild swing and a miss. McCarthy, he gathers. Atkinson calling for it. And uh, didn't reach him. Cousins has some work to do. Using his strength well. And he was impeded. And the yellow card is shown to Calvin Gardner. Quite rightly so. That's definitely a yellow card challenge. Well, Gardner knows about the Royal Era Challenge, having made his way across from Cornwall College. But even that was too agricultural. Definitely so. And he had to do something anyhow. And uh, maybe he'll take him one for the team there, because had he not done so, then Gardner Marseille and the likes of Cousins would have been through on goal. And coming out of the last game, we know he's full of confidence, Cousins. Well, we know that Barrington Blake can shoot it from distance. He's behind the ball. David Martin is weary of the setup of his wall at the moment. Jeremy Muirhead is also there, the captain. But who will take this one? It's delivered straight into the hands of goalkeeper Martin. Tame in the end, although it was on target, which is an improvement on most free kicks <laughs> that we've seen this season. Here's Murad again, sends it out wide to Silveira, needed a better ball inside. Cousins was picking for it, wasn't he? And it was played behind him. Morrison. Waiting on the flow of traffic to build up. Atkinson. Delightful ball. That's McCarthy. Pulls it back or try to. To find Robinson. Scott McLeod. Wonderful ball. But uh, out comes Roshane Brooks. Puts that one into touch. 
Atkinson while he's trying to have some sustained pressure here on this government safe team. Simu. It appears to be homework done by Coach Bernard because a large percentage of the attack for Kingston College has come down their right side, which is Gavin Massey's left side. Here they come again. Claire Clark, or rather that's in your head. And the shot is a weak one from Claire Clark. Switching positions with his captain for the time being, who decided to take up the flank position just now. Because of the high press from Gavin Massey, uh, Kinson College forced to play the ball long. Atkinson. Looking for Gail, and uh, Gail picking up a shoulder injury. But Kingston College not allowed to play out from the back or bust the possession line of the field. This is Brooks rather picking up the shoulder injury, colliding with Siobhan Gale. Robinson. Robinson doing well. Ronaldo Robinson! Went on a run. Shot was just driven wide though. It was a big shot from Robinson. Had Benjamin interested up all the way. Good close control of the football. Atkinson. Robinson again. On his left foot this time, forced wide. Trying to get by his marker. Delivers it inside! Somehow he got by Siobhan Gale. Right. Morrison. Kingston College trying to go into second gear with this sustained bit of pressure. Robinson robbed. And now possession will go the way of Garvey Maceo. Kimani Silvera. Suspect advantage played there by the referee. Silvera seems to have committed a foul there on Watson. The pattern of the game developing pretty much at Kinson College. The bulk of the attack in play. But a lot of good chances have gone to Gabo Messier as well. One of the best of the chances. Muirhead swings it across to the keeper. Managing to hold on. David Martin. It had a little bit of pepper on it. There's an infringement on the play. Free kick to Kingston College. Again, they seem to make headway down that right on his right flank. with the attack on now. Cousins is in the offside position. He's eager to get that one. I think he wasn't helped by his team. They won the ball, a good turnover in the middle of the park, and they needed to transition much quicker than that because Kingston College had opened up in attack. And that's something Coach Maren Gordon will have to have his team do a lot better in this game, which is on the counter to transition much quicker. So goes free kick to Kingston College. Taken quickly, Morrison on it. Gale 
Gale still on it. Sets it up and the shot is wide from Morrison. How is it all concerned? Just stopped playing there. It was Muirhead who had that one. Uh, Morrison, sorry, he 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 seemed surprised by it. As if he was not expecting it to come back to him. Just dragged it wide. Robinson. Robinson was in his world. The only players on the KC team up for it. Maybe he was the only one who listened to coach saying it was a small challenge. <laughs> right. Slapping his girl from Kingston College. Rajiv Gavin saw that one all the way. I suspect that Coach Bernard would have been. A Expecting or anticipating that he would have scored already in this contest. And longer it goes on, Dabba Messiah will continue to believe. Well, they did beat Charlie, Charlie Smith what, by five goals in L in the quarterfinal round of the Manning Cup. And they do wear similar colors, Dabba Messiah and Charlie Smith. So, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> mistaking it, <laughs> mistaking them to be definitely Captain Masia putting up a much stronger challenge than Charlie Smith would have. Good win by Morrison, had good play. Lewis overlapping, was tripped up. Marvin Williams pleading his case. Cultural having none of it. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. Probably said it was not on purpose, but in the game of football, whether on purpose or not, he chipped him up, chipped the player up, then he put it the foot, all committed by Gavin Messier. Morrison sends this one inside, and inside there was Rajiv Gavin, who turned it into the hands of Akil Benjamin. Morrison. Oh, nice touch. Morrison gets by one challenge. Morrison on his left foot. Jamari Morrison tipped over. Well, I thought he got a touch on it, Akil Benjamin. It appeared he did. That chop carried some venom. Well, it's been pointed for a, for a goal kick, but was really some good work from Jamari Morrison, the Kingston College skipper. Hmm. Close to take the tips there. I thought he touched it. Might just just be out of it, just out of his reach. Those finger tips. Hopefully, he might have gotten that one right. Well, we can't fault him the fact that we've had a few looks at it, and still inconclusive. So far, so 
seven shots in total for Kingston College as the one on target. Atkinson wins it, taking off the shot, drives that one in! Oh, that's a fabulous effort from Dwayne Atkinson, who's done it again for Kingston College! That's his 15th, and it was laced with power! A goal worthy of the lead for the famed Purples, 1-0! to watch starting this game here but obviously Dr. Maceo did not pay close attention to him but he took a deflection I'm not sure without the direct the deflection whether or not we'll keep up with the problem there but yeah my turn did take a wicked deflection and that took it away from goalkeeper Benjamin but as they say in the sport you can't score if you don't shoot just their second shot on target. And it was on target. Despite the reflection. It will go down as Atkinson's goal. And Kingston College, they lead by a goal to nil. Nice move from Ronald Robinson. Couldn't supply the pass though, but Atkinson is doing his endeavor best to win it back for his team. And he gets the throw for Kingston College. We, earlier in the game, we talk about this Kingston College, uh, well organized defensive pass, but they too are very good in going forward. And that would have been their 49th goal of the season. Atkinson's 15th. given too much of the time and space and you know what they say in football when you give the players time and space uh -huh. well the better ones will take the advantage and he's one of the better ones Wayne Atkinson Lewis Morrison McLeod Atkinson Wright couldn't get there and Shawin Thomas Putting that one into touch. Long throw inside the box. Gale is there. They can't clear, not yet. Still struggling to get out of their own box. Sent out wide to right. Right sends it high to Gale. Didn't reach him. Keith Benjamin was there. Lewis Watson inside to Damari McCarthy. Now Scott McLeod. Back to Watson. Morrison went to the to the byline, gets a corner kick for his team. The task continues to get more difficult for this Agatha Messier team. You're going to have to de defend this corner. And these Kingston College supporters have come alive. Agatha Messier, they don't score a lot of goals. 17 in their 11 games played so far. Three in their last. Averaging 1.5 goals per game. Well, this is the first corner of the match. And Atkinson to deliver. Not the best delivery. Easily handled. He went too much under it. And even took up a bit of the turf in trying to execute that corner kick. We've seen this Garvin Massey team in their last game in the quarterfinals was across the cup. Seems down and out against Manchester. Find a way back, so it's in college will not want to relax here. 
But even in this game, the early part, that they did have some good chances. St. George's College got the lead over Merrin Gordon's boys. The two goals were scored in the first half. And then St. George's College cruised right after. Gale lost it. Barrington Lake sends it up long. That's a good look. Gav Maceo, this is a big opportunity for them. Muirhead! Couldn't get by David Martin. It's a good goal keeping there for Martin. And there it seems to and goal here. Just run away from him a little. Trying to get the chip out to poke it between the legs of the goalkeeper. Just a little bit out of his reach. Didn't get enough on him. And Martin sat on it. One in San Zavale for Kingston College. Cannot relax against this Gavin Maceo team. Very direct team, as you saw in that build up just now. A long ball of field. A lot of players waiting in the attacking third of this Kingston College team. Good turn by Chabon Gale. Was poor though. Morrison, Gale, Just losing his footing there at crucial time. left side. Watson. Majority of the possession, 58%. Does well to win it. Cousins had the right idea. What was too much for Claire Clark to do to try and catch that one. And the good thing about this 
Wisconsin College possession, and the fact that they have the majority of it, is that it's been a positive possession. It's always a wonderful ball. stop from Dwayne Atkinson and the pass to boot. Gale inside the box. Back to Atkinson. Fabulous save. And Atkinson is there to push it across the line. The guard must say defense asleep. And Atkinson almost a one-man show. Did enough to make it 2-0 to Kingston College. Initially a good save there from the goalkeeper Benjamin, but a mix up with himself and his defender. And here we saw some good skill there shown by Atkinson. Gale also on the ball, Atkinson showing good awareness there. And you would have expected the defender to clear after the goalkeeper made the stop the second time around. That situation, as we saw there, going to sleep was Thomas Atkinson, well awake in slotting that one between the legs of goalkeeper Benjamin. I have no idea what Shuwe Thomas was thinking there. It was a case of stationary football inside the box because he didn't move a bit. Almost if, if he moved, he would have broken some unwritten rule. Off the field front three, gotten on the score sheet already. Or is it? Is Atkinson with both? Oh, Atkinson. Yeah. Yes. They come forward in droves so much that. Let's get confused as to. Of them is on it. And then he's been switching sides as well, Dwayne Atkinson. So much to ponder. Merrick Gordon. Second goal would have been comical if it wasn't so serious for Gavin Maceo. It's as if they handed them a gift there. And yeah. This kid's oh, no, business score again. Dream needs no gift. That's 16 goals for Atkinson this season. And he would have gotten the 50th. Goal for Kinson College this season with that second. Half century in cricket. Here's a shot from distance. Oh, that was on target. Was that late with the effort there, the left footed drive? It was Barrington Blake. Well, I suppose he's the only one on the field with that gum shot. And he caught it well. Good strike there. Not sure if you can write off Governor Seal. What a quality ball that is from Blake to Muirhead. And he decided to go the long route. I'm not sure why. It wasn't Muirhead, in fact, it was Clear Clark. Who thought he had the pace to do that. situation like that you would have expected him to fake to go to the line and then try and come inside where he would have had more space to carry out his attack. Watson.
Bill, can you get there? Silence coming in. Kevin from Calcium. Just about four minutes to go for half time. I think I'm going to say at this stage, we have to ensure that Kingston College does not get another goal. Yeah, it would be game over, I think. What's with the long throw for KC? Oh, the ball played back to the keeper, who does well with the clearance. Very well with a bouncing ball. Got good purchase on it, David Martin. Cool up. The party has begun for a few KC supporters. Spanner Dennis had to be in the mix. <laughs> we can't miss him. Clark. Cousins is there. Couldn't reach him. And that shot is over the top. Needed a little bit more creativity there and Sylvia was all alone on the right hand side begging for it. And Gavin Marseille will have to show more creativity and patience in their build up. necessary there from Kingston College. Now they have to defend. That's something they know how to do well. Blake. Thomas. Keeper comes out, does well. suggesting that he doesn't like the fact that he's called into action as often as he has been in the last few minutes. <laughs> Atkinson, on that occasion, couldn't get by Shimu. Now here's Silveira. Kimani Silveira. Silveira. Almost very well done. Almost, but what was telling me here was the lack of support that would, was coming across from the government say, a team to this right hand side to, to help Severe out. He was left on his own with three Kingston College defenders. Delightful ball, Severa couldn't quite control it. Momentum almost lost. It's with Cousins now. Couldn't control it as well. well cousins need to be, be needed to have done better than, than that. He needed to really get that one under his spell. Calvin Maceo can't come back in this game, you know. But they need more quality in the attacking third. In your head with the infringement. As we're in the one minute of added time for stoppages. Cousins. Maybe just suffering from a bit of cramp. Had a good chance just now to have really put some pressure on the Kingston College defense. Really poor first touch.
информации. Does she put her up in the first half? Yep, he does. After 45 minutes, Dwayne Atkinson's double. Enough to give Kingston College the advantage. Taking both goals quite well. One from long range. And the second approaches effort. After the government said defense fell asleep. Akeem Benjamin would have been disappointed with that second goal in particular. The attacking force of Gav Masil will need to improve in order to get the better of the KC boys. After 45 minutes, it's Kingston College 2, Gav Masil High 0. Lots to think about after this first half. What do you address first? Well, definitely we'll have to adjust our defensive shape and ensure that we don't concede first and then we'll see how we can be more creative and more decisive in the attacking terrain. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. All right, Dwayne Mullins there of Garber Maceo, hoping to fix things in the second half. Joining me now is Raymond Watson of Kingston College. Raymond, pleased with your team's first half performance? Uh, yes, very much pleased. I thought we could have gotten another goal or two, and that would have been lovely. But also, Garber Maceo, they got a look in or two, so I think it's a fair result at the moment. Pleased with 2-0, but it's usually said that is the most dangerous lead to have. Uh, what do you do come second half? I actually said the same thing to my head coach, Mr. Bernard, about that 2-0. So, second half, you know, um, we'll be bringing in Tyrese Williams. Want another goal or two, definitely. He should be in for Siobhan. Yeah, and contemplating the right-back change, but we'll just hold that for the moment. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you very much. Raymond Watson there. Oh, Always given us the possible substitutions before we even ask. So Kingston College, the 2017 uh, Champions Cup winners, they currently lead Garvin Masia, two goals to nil here at the National Stadium. We're going to take a break. We have lots more for you when we return. Welcome back to the National Stadium for this ISA Champions Cup game between Kingston College and Gav Maceo High. We're at half time and KC lead Gav Maceo by two goals to nil. As we take a look at the parade, power through moments of this first half. In the opening moments of this one, Gav Maceo actually came knocking. And came close. Muirhead with the head off the post. And then the follow-up over the, well, cleared off the line, the follow-up by uh, Rishi and Brooks. And then this effort wide of the mark. Being into the thick of things, Kingston College, after a while, they started off pretty slowly. And then Tamara Morrison's effort over the top. Calvin Maceo losing it in a dangerous area. Atkinson looking up, driving that one home. Took a deflection. But Atkinson will claim it. And the 26th minute, getting his fifth this season. And Kingston College were 1 0 ahead. But he was pretty grateful for that. Cav Maceo showed that they were not too far behind. Muirhead was just a little bit too far behind that one. Couldn't get it over the keeper. David Martin, who did well. And then Atkinson, look at this. Wonderful stuff. Gale did well to get it back to him. Atkinson shot. Brilliant save from Benjamin. And then, well... Not exactly sure what Shoen Towns was, think, was thinking there as Atkinson went by him and put it through the keeper's legs. A half century of goals for Kingston College. And the brother 
from Jamaica's cricket, I was saying Thomas would have been a little bit ashamed of that moment there. As you take a look at the statistics, courtesy of KFC, 10 shots, 4 on target for KC. God bless you, 9 shots, 6 on target. 7 fouls committed by KC, 5 by Gav Masail. Just the one corner kick in the game so far. Kingston College with it, as well as 58% possession. It's now time for the water break from the stands. Here's Shawana. Thank you so much, Donald. I am in the stands and I am with the Kingston College Massive. Enjoy the game so far? The game is good so far. I just want to pick up the magazine, the Rancher Dallas, Duane Akiso. He scored a two goal and we know we are going on victory. And I just want to pick up KC Fraternity. My son, Nathan Kante Thomas, that scored a winning goal last year, Manning Cup. I love KC. Pick up KC all the time. That line obviously will never die. Casey, are you enjoying the performance so far? Why, it's good. We expect to pick up where we leave off in the first half, score some more goals, and let's get this over with. Do you think now that Kingston College have tasted what it's like winning the Manning Cup after 32 years last year, they will go on a steady winning streak? Steady, that's what we're hoping for. Definitely, that's what we're hoping for. We're building, and as you can see, we're building from the under 14 straight up. So I expect a dynasty. Oh, the Kingston College dynasty. You're a student at Kingston College? Yes, I am. I'm in grade 13. How do you feel about your team's performance so far? I mean, it's been pretty good. Expected. May be able to do even better, but satisfied. Yeah. How nice would it be to not only retain your Manning Cup title this year, but to even win the Champions Cup? Well, that would be amazing considering this is not the best team we've had. It's a bit young. So that would be very good for them to win multiple titles. Yeah, that would be very good. Can I get that famous line? Oh, she left. <laughs> I wanted her to give me the famous line. How do you feel about Kingston College tonight? Oh, I feel great to be a fan and to be a supporter for so many years in all the sports. I feel excellent today that we're winning at the halftime. So I feel good about that. All right, guys, this is where I leave you for the water break from the signs with the Kingston College Massive. Okay, they're very guys, confident in their team. Hello. They're happy. They're pleased. With the score and see you in the second half. And it's going to be Kingston College. Picking towards the hills now. And uh, Gav Massey will be kicking towards the sea. Uh, they don't get the goals in this second half. They'll be sailing out of this competition. Well, for them to, to do so in this second half, you would feel that Coach Marin Gordon would have had to deliver the team talk of the season so far. We must continue that talk because it will take a lot to get past this Kingston College team led by that one with Le Bernard. I think it would be fair to say that Kingston College in the first half didn't get out of second gear. It's still got two goals here. Yeah. Two far in front of Cousins on that occasion. And David Martin was real alert. Really alert on that occasion. The difference between these two teams, yes, there's two goals in it, but Gabba say they have gotten chances. It's just the fact that Kingston College has been more clinical and a little bit more creative in that final third. Near head pulled back. And it's going to be a free kick to Gabba Maceo. see how much urgency they show in this second half here at the start of the second half. This one sent out wide, looking for Claire Clark. Thomas to Clark. 
track in that one to the edge of the box. Thomas should get there. Blake was pressured, lost it. Watson didn't quite put it into touch. Governor still, still trying to come forward. Blake was a late challenge on Cousins who limped away. Free kick to Calvin Maceo. They may have to, in the second half, seek to employ more or commit more players in the final third of this. In college area to try and see if they can get something back early. They need a good delivery here. But this one is driven wide of the mark. Very ambitious there. Was curling away, wasn't it? Yes, and keep up Martin I'm troubled by that one. Good work by Rashane Brooks, Atkinson. Nice think over the top to Gail, who could do a lot with it though. He had more time than we did that one down. Well, the best players always have more time, right? They do, and they are aware of it as well. On that game, on that occasion. Getting in some trouble here, Shimu. to be shown that car. But he's the one that's riding on the ground, mind you. It's not going to be enough to cause her to need to put that car back in. <laughs> but I'm not sure where the hand would have come into that challenge. But did come out and across the face of the player. We've been quite lucky in that situation. We've seen situations where in the games where the hand is swung like that. Persons have been shown march and orders for things like those. Actually, got a yellow card before. We could see Gavin Marcel players looking at the card and asking the referee some question. That could be it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a second yellow card for Calvin Gardner, and he's been sent off. I think he can't have any complaints there. He's remonstrating with the referee, but definitely a bookable offence. There was no need for the left hand to come across like that and like it did well unless he's complaining about the first challenge he really should be complaining about the second uh, he did get foot official there was just double checking but yes was shown a yellow card earlier and needlessly that second yellow because as you're saying, Donald, there's no need for the hand to come and play there. None. And it definitely looked intentional. It's 
and sent inside the box. KC down to 10 players. A change hasn't been made as yet. One of their defenders now out. Can Gavin Masia capitalize now? Yeah, I was going to say, based on the scheme of things, maybe that's equity. Maybe balance out in terms of making Gavin Masia more capable of competing against this Kingston College team. But they have to show more quality in the attacking third. They just have to. Well, that was lamented by their assistant coach at halftime, saying they have to show more creativity in the final third. see still no sign of a change Simu can the long ball over the top not working Simu steps in again playing with 10 men Gavin Masia, what can they do now? Space opening up from your head and just run out of ideas. We're just lamenting about showing creativity and having good ideas in the final third. None shown there by this Gavin Masia team. Chance here for Gavin Masio. Cousins on the ball, it's high and wide. So the goal kick to Kingston College. Let's take a look at the two chances by Gardner. Yeah, so that was a yellow card. And yeah, that one was a yellow card. Can have no complaints from those. Change seem to be imminent for Kingston College, but also there's a change on the park because what we see happening there is that one of the central midfielders has dropped a little bit deeper in the number five, McLeod, to keep them back that fourth back. Yeah, McLeod, no stranger to playing in the back line for Kingston College. Started there actually at the start of the season, Scott McLeod. Gardner, Calvin Gardner was sent down. So they've gone to a second four, yellow card. Four one system of formation for the most part. Again, the lone man up front. Lake again goes long. Clark tries to keep that one in play. Free kick taken by Thomas Blake. Unlike him, that bad pass. Ronaldo Robinson now. The yellow card comes out to Muirhead. seen any football being played since the start of the second half, do I? Uh, not much in terms of it's been a stop start half so far. I think what Kinson College is going to try and do a lot here is to try and possess it as much as possible being a man down. And they're leading by two goals to nil so they don't have to push too 
or a feel confirmation there of mirrorhead that's in the yellow card. Watson getting it off just in time. McCarthy lost it to right. And we see them with us during that attacking play from Kingston College, which is the difference between them and Garvin Marseille. They played it short and then went long because of the fact they're short and they're playing a man up front. But the supporting cast got up there much quicker than the Garvin Marseille team does when they play that long ball. And that they have to do better, Garvin Marseille, in that transition. Kingston College showing their versatility in playing the possession and also playing direct. Garbamasil will have to use this ball much better. Advantage of the advantage in players. Tyrese Henry is coming on in place of Gregory Cousins. I don't think he was 100% anyway, Gregory Cousins. Henry just the one goal to his name so far this season actually scored one of the goals in that comeback win over Manchester High in the Costa Cup quarterfinal round. Has pace as well, Tyrese Henry. Nice move. Clear Clark. Should have opted for the pass a long time ago, but he gets a free kick. He definitely passes on through that channel. He chose to step over one too many times. Muirhead making his way in between the lines. So you see, making the change, Shavon Gale coming out, Tyrese Williams is coming on in his stead. Just in the situation that he's going to be alone a lot of time up front, he wants some fresh legs. Blake to deliver. Keeper comes out and misses. Still a chance. And it's headed. Oh, it's cleared off the line. And now Kingston College will counter attack. Purple shirts running forward. Morrison. Right. Delivers. Whoa. What a save that is. From Benjamin, another chance, Benjamin again with the save, and it's hot out of the box. That was the game coming alive, you're talking about not much football being played in the second half, but end-to-end -end stuff, and for the first time we saw Martin coming, not being convincing, and at, at some point here I saw Gabi Maceo was appealing because there seemed to have been a handout by one of the defenders, and then straight down the other end, Kingston College oh, could have just made Gabi Maceo pay. But Benjamin came up big for them on two occasions, getting down smartly at his near post there to deny Robinson. And this was the chance earlier for Gavin Maceo. Muirhead's head up, cleared off the line. And for a moment there we saw McLeod, he saw that thought went to his mind to put the hand up, but might have gotten a shot from the defender on the line. Casey making a change. Sajar Blair coming on. 
placing Andrade right. Like for like, that swap, and right back. Yeah. Definitely, Coach, when I get in fresh legs out there because with the a man down, they know they're going to have to cover more ground to freshen up his defense. This KC unit to get out of their own house. Sure, a little bit too much of the ball on that occasion. You know, it's a problem I have with this guy when I say a team, just the use of the football. Not holding on to it long enough to really cause problem for this Kinson College team who showed good technicality just now come playing out from the back and our man down Blair Ball over the top, looking for Tyrese Williams. Williams, some work to do, but he lost it. Blake has it for Gavin Masil, looking for the long ball of field. Couldn't find Clear Clark. and couldn't keep it in play. Kinson College showing what is required when you go down to 10 players on a par. Really putting in the shift here. Went out of possession. Williams. Richards with the clearance of Gavin Maceo. Watson picks it up. Gavin. Morrison. Blair. Just too far in front of Sajar Blair. Might be fresh legs, but that was asking too much of him. Good vision, though. By uh, Jamari Morrison. change in the approach for Gavin Maceo since the second half and even with Kingston College going down a player just have not seen that Coach Cotton deal looking around trying to probably find a way other than what they've been doing so far well they've had their chances haven't they Gavin Maceo to get back into this contest as Watson does well. Got to different side, almost got through to Jamari Morrison. Sajar Blair. Sajar Blair over the top. Saudi was trying to do him in for the top corner. Post its time type of finish he was looking for, but it's not too much under it. Strange as 
you can still see the distinct line of the four defenders that Gabi Marseille is still employing for the back. Kingston College dominant player and also just having one striker up front. You want to feel that they could have committed or sacrificed one of the defenders in trying to get more attacking intent going. Well, probably this is the reason why they're holding back. There's Kingston College, the offside flag shown against them. Williams is offside. They always pose that threat though. And of course, they do have speed up front. Gordon, KC. Uh, Gordon, I got ready. They do want that money playing on the mind of Coach Gordon. However, you're in a knockout competition and you barely have just over about 22 minutes in this contest, so you have to take some risk. You're handling that well. Anywhere we'll do. Thomas. Blake. Muirhead. Andrew Vol there. from your head to he measured the defender. Dwayne Antikinson's dad in the middle in the Kingston College jersey. We'll be pleased with what his son has done so far. This evening, Dwayne Atkinson with the two goals. Two goals that seem set to Kingston College progress in this competition. We haven't seen anything from Garvin Marseille to suggest that they're going to eclipse that. Blair. Morrison. Blair. Awesome. Just Williams up top. Oh, good move by Blair. Good. Williams deflected wide. Corner kick to Kingston College. Bill did very well there. He turned Richards inside out and gets him his pass inside almost to perfection. And but for the intervention of the defender. Who oh, didn't know a lot about it actually. <laughs> Not much. Corner kick to KC. Can get, they go three up? that delivery. They didn't come in the players forward either. Kingston College. Oh yes, won it. Tyrus Henry. Blake. effort is charged down trying to find Marvin Williams and a whistle on the play. That's what we're talking about there, epitomized by Blake's decision to take a shot. Roger Morrison comes in, replacing Marvin Williams as Garvin Massey continues to ring the changes. Clark. It's 
ball sent inside for Tyrese Henry was offside. It was way outside the line there and should have been able to see across, play wide rather, and should have been able to see across that line. There's no reason for the drift offside there, Henry. Not helping this guy to see a cause at all. needing to get back into this one down two goals and since the second half it's Kinson College that has come closest and even when they've gone down to 10 players Kinson College they still carry more threat than the Scarborough Massey team is showing at the moment Sentence inside and we'll try again. This is a better delivery, but the keeper side all the way. It was a good take from Martin, he was always dipping fast. Didn't afford to spill with the unrushing government see attackers. Martin needs some attention now. KC Custodian. here for this KC team or could be a plan for them to get a breather after they're down a player. So we see all of them rushing to the sideline to get themselves refreshed. Dwayne Atkinson has been instrumental in this game so far. His two goals have made the difference. That a deflected effort. So we've seen this before, haven't we? for Kingston College and then in the right place at the right time the government's here defense static and Atkinson pounced my player of the match so far Dwight wouldn't look anywhere other than at Atkinson problem for government is still on the park Garvamasse would make things interesting, but where will it come from? High ball, free kick to Garvamasse. Very good question, Dano, because we're looking at, we cannot see where they will get this ball. Ronaldo Robinson trying to get by Muirhead. Watson. Challenge coming in on him. It's almost like I forgot I must get the ball up front. Let's see what happened. And maybe he was right when he made his comments earlier, Coach Bernard, that it's a small challenge. Because even with 10 players, managing to sit and be relaxed. Well, they can't relax now, can they? Probably they can. Throw it to Government Seal. And the attacking third though. The drums continue to beat. You can see dancing to the tune of their own drums at the moment. Easy clearance. Say they need something different. Thomas, wide, well wide, in fact. It's more of the same there, Donald. It's just that there's, there's no idea when they get forward, they, they get into that area and it's a shot from distance. It's a long ball of field. 
with not much combination play in that final third. Nice first touch from Tyrese Williams, who's through on goal. Williams! The keeper comes out and does really well again, Akil Benjamin. Casey not done yet. Morrison trying to turn away from his marker. Goes into some space. Jamari Morrison drills it just wide. Benjamin, though, I believe had that one covered. Had his interest, but definitely had it covered before that you felt Williams should have finished. Yeah, this was the chance before. Second touch just a bit heavy, just ran away from him a little. And that gave the goalkeeper the opportunity to block it. there easily by Demario McCarthy. Number 13 Brown coming there, coming in for Gavin Maceo. See if he can, in these final 10 or so minutes, try and bring Gavin Maceo back into this one. Tyrus Williams did really well there. to suffer the same fate they did last season in this very same competition going on to the first hurdle. Seems that way. Blair collects. Should have run better with the pass. Still with Casey's possession. They have the throw. Ten minutes to go in this one. And Casey, it appears as if they're cruising. No iceberg ahead. This ship will not sink today. Well, there's Lenny Hyde on the right. And Tyree Small. Uh, uh, Sheldon Smart. This player from Clarendon College. Yep. A striker. Both looking as relaxed as they were last night. Even on the sideline. Taking a look at possible opposition. If you hadn't noticed the red dot on the top left hand corner of your screen, you, you probably wouldn't be able to identify that Kingston College are down to 10 players, but they are. Galvin must say unable to press home any yeah. numerical advantage. Definitely couldn't tell by just watching the play. Kingston College were down to a player. Williams is outside. Do or die for Gavin Messier now. It's more looking like die, Donald. The 
they, they have done little so far. Robinson on the go. And he was stopped in his tracks. Gets it back though, Robinson. Oh, nice move by Ronaldo Robinson. He was trying to gather the ball to follow up as he went down that left hand side. Eventually lost possession. Gab Maceo trying to move things on quickly, but not with much quality. All game long, I think the passing quality has been poor from this Gab Maceo team, not picking out their intended target as much as they would want to. Should they register a shot and target in the second half? Remember. Atkinson continuing his run. Couldn't get the supply back in his favor. Oh dear. Again, another pass goes astray. Tyrese Williams, not the best touch that was. Neither was that. Blair, but inside and Robinson couldn't together. We saw the first five minutes of this game. Thought it would have been interesting as Gav Maceo had a couple of attacks. As they did start right and got some of the best chances early in the game, but since then, nothing. Robinson, Whoa. Williams, oh, oh my What's word. That? Should have been a tap in. He just had to score from there. There's no reason for Williams to have missed that one. He's bemused as well. You're not the only one, son. Was there an awkward bounce? Can't be in the pitch on that one. The three looks at it, I still can't decide what he was trying to do. Or why he missed that one. He was trying his best to snatch at it one, but in trying to guide it, he missed it. He missed it, yeah. And he's been used, but not for that. Just how he has not been able to take advantage of the fact that Kinston College has played a large portion of this game with two players. And within themselves, if we are to be honest. Sure have not had to really change the gears too much Kingston College tonight. Or exert a lot of energy. They're in a very tough quarterfinal round group in the Manning Cup. They've already got the better of Charlie Smith. did so convincingly too, in fact, goes to know maybe that's one of the reason they're not showing much tonight in terms of having to play Thursday and tonight. Speaking of Charlie Smith, they're drawing nil all with Cornell College at Catherine Hall. And many felt that Cornell College was the Costa Cup's best hope of continuing in this Champions Cup. Yeah. Here's Williams. Tyrese Williams. Can he bury it this time? Well, he buries it wide of the mark. And uh, he thought he wanted the earth to just open up right now and swallow him in. And since coming on, he could have been an equal amount of goal as Atkinson. Let's 
certainly has had the opportunities. Just needs to work on his finishing. Tyrese Williams. But even those misses, it doesn't look as if it's going to be costly. Almost worked off with Jamari Morrison there. Silvera. Well, we haven't seen him in a bit. Silvera. Silvera. Your thoughts? It's simple. It's just the quality again. It came, came down to quality. He did the hard work and at the end of the day. I mean, and nothing passed and nothing attempted across. It was an embarrassing attempt at a cross. Pretty much summed up Gavin Marseille's night. So, Atkinson's day is done. Jerome Barclay is on. Jamari Morrison, wide of the mark. Not at their best in terms of their finishing tonight, uh, Kingston College, but not going to cost them tonight. I'm pretty sure as they progress further in this competition, they're going to have to be more clinical in front of goal. Of Jamaica College, Clarendon College, and Co. waiting in the wings. not being a stranger to playing as central defense and you saw how easy transition transition into that position adjusted well and it seems seamless for Kingston College in terms of making that adjustment and continuing to be solid at the back nine clean sheets so far in 13 games to live with long and over the head of Jeremy Muirhead. Those type of service, it looks destined for them to have their 10th clean sheet of the season. Three minutes of stoppages to be played, and not a minute more. But as they say, it's a minimum of three, Donald. Looks very continues about the the gap between the rural and urban area teams and many will talk and have their suggestions as to why and some lament about support and how they're prepared but definitely there's a gap Sajar Blair couldn't get by Shawain Thomas. That's a summary right there. <laughs> Perfect. Not another word required. Williams has space. Williams! Oh. <laughs> it hits the oh. post <laughs> and it goes behind. Still trying to get on target, Tyrese Williams. Patrick of chances. Probably should have gone for the far post there, or the far side. Let's open his body up and get it to that far side would have been a better chance of him scoring.
Williams. Comes through to Morrison. Benjamin does well. Just run away from him there. Robinson! Oh. Oh. Ronaldo Robinson trying to end this one spectacularly. That one carried a threat. And uh, it will end the victory for Kingston College. It was comfortable for Dr. Bernard. And it turned out to be a small challenge after all. As Kingston College with two goals from Dwayne Atkinson said that was enough in this encounter. Well, second consecutive year, Mern Gordon's boys go down to an opponent which resides at North Street. Last year it was St. George's College. This year it's Kingston College and it is by the same scoreline. KC, they have a lot of work to do as they progress on all fronts to win the big prizes this year. And Dr. Bernard will regroup the set of boys as they continue their journey. But he'll take the points here. He'll take the win here. A Dwayne Atkinson double enough for Kingston College with a 2 0 win over Gavin Masail. As we take a look at the power aid, power through moments in this one, the goals, two of them. And it was Atkinson. There was a deflection on this shot. It was going in anyway. There was a lot of power there. Akil Benjamin, who's had a really good evening, in fact, couldn't get across in time. And that was 1 0 to Kingston College. Question from Richards takes it away from him. And he did no chance. And then it was pretty much a one man show here. Got the play back from Shabon Gale. Benjamin pulled off the initial stop and then. Well, there was just a mix up in the defense there as Shawane Thomas stood still. And Atkinson did enough to place it in the gap between the keep of his legs. And he started and the move and he really finished it well. That was that for the parade power through moments. Let's take a look at the KFC match statistics. KC with 20 shots and uh, they were inaccurate with a little over half of them. Just eight shots on target. Gav Masseo with 12 shots. Seven shots on target. Nine fouls committed by KC. Six by Gav Masseo. The one red card shown to Calvin Gardner of Kingston College. And uh, two corner kicks in favor of KC, who also had 60% of the possession. And of course, the KFC play of the game. Dwayne Atkinson had to be involved, right? Although it was initially brilliant footwork from Atkinson. The good thing about it is that he would finish. Got his teammate involved, Siobhan Gale, who did his best. Set it up for him. Benjamin was a part of the play with the initial save and then the follow by Atkinson and he's the player of the game Dwayne Atkinson he's definitely the player of the game he's right so Dwayne Atkinson the player of the game today, the KFC player of the game. This is the third Kingston College game we've done, and Dwayne Atkinson has won the three MVP performances. Do you have space in your house for these trophies? Yeah, because it's a long while, you know, we're not out of so I have a space for each trophy I'm going to put on the dates. Yeah? How do you feel about receiving this one tonight? Well, I feel very great to you come out here, you know, I want me to put my name on the score sheet and also in the school a victory. Thank you, Dwayne. Yeah, very welcome. Dwayne Atkinson there, our KFC player of the game. Joining me now is Maron Gordon, head coach at Garvey Maseo. Maron, it seems as if the school's on North Street is here. Achilles, he's in the Champions Cup. 
Yeah, when you're a special player like Atkins, you know, um, it's going to be hard. You know, um, he scored two, two well-fought goals, you know. Um, first the ball in the middle of the park, won the ball, he took a strike and he scored. And, you know, just, you know, the type of goal scorer he is, he, he fought hard for the second one. And I think that, you know, kind of put us back. What else do you believe would have uh, stopped you from winning the game here today? Uh, a little bit of luck. <laughs> we got some some chances on the line we didn't we didn't score you know um you need to score at least one of those you know to keep us in the game but hats off the case yeah i think they fought well and i think they they remain um composed even though they went down you know but it's just a game i'm i'm, I'm, I'm really happy with my guys also um no back to back disappointments for you cause, because though you would have won the game against manchester you would have missed out on the dacasta cup and now this loss here tonight how do you pick the boys up to refocus on the ben francis cup um, to, be, to be honest, um, you know, to, to lose 2-0 to um, one of the best teams in the country, you know, going back to play the Ben Francis, you know, I think it's a good practice for us. I think this might push us, you know, this might be a very, very, this is like a final play in the Dakar Cup for me. You know, so I think it's be very good, you know, to use that as a, step, as a stepping stone. Thank you, Maren. Thank you. Maren Gordon there, head coach at Garvey Maseo High. I now invite Ludlow Bernard, the head coach of Kingston College, to join me. Congratulations on this win today. What is this big smile about? Oh, man, I'm just approaching it. It's just something to smile about, you know? Especially yeah. considering this victory here tonight. I know you're a very tough coach to yeah. please. Um, how would you sum up Kingston College's performance? Well, I didn't really mind the, the experience today. Um, I've been to play with 10 men. Um, I've always <laughs> trusted my defense, and I think they stood tall here today. It's kind of unfortunate that Calvin would have received two yellow cards and half, but this is really showing up the depth the depth and the strength of my defense, which is what I advocated from day one, it would be very critical in our campaign. Well, you speak of the depth of the defense, but what about the rest of the team? How deep is your squad and the quality? We know you have quality, but how deep is the squad uh, to actually go and push for all these titles? Um. We think we have lent in the squad in terms of um, finding persons to come onto the pitch and make good replacements. The, the, the circumstances surrounding this game today kind of had us having to shift our approach. You know, and as a result, some of the players who would have wanted to pull ended up playing throughout the course of the game. Had it been with 11 players, um, changes would have been made. But then again, this is a very good test for us. Right now, the, the, the most key thing is recovery. And that is what we have been emphasizing ever since last week, recovery. Thank you, Coach. Thank you very much. Coach Ludlow Bernard there of Kingston College. Let's take a look at the other results from today's games. So Dinta would have uh, lost out to Excel.